this is Up Trail 71, and we're back at Pictured Rocks up here in northern Michigan. This is actually our first time here in two years almost, so that's hard to believe. And we're in a specific area in the park called the Beaver Basin, and we'll be hiking around the Beaver Lake area. Our campsite is going to be called uh, Pine Bluff. You see, I have my pack all ready, and my wife is getting ready to get on a trail here also. I'm going to take a couple of quick little views from up here. It's a nice little spot. Well, you ready? As ready as ever. About a five mile hike to our campsite, Pine Bluff. Now this is a view from the overlook. You see Beaver Basin. And off in a distance, the Lake Superior. I'll take a quick look at this map. Shows us where we are right now. Beaver Basin Overlook. Hike 1.4 miles. And we'll take this trail for three miles up to near Trapper's Lake. Another point three to Lake Superior and about the same distance to Pine Bluff. So a little over five miles. It's actually a long ways up here for this area. And the trail we'll be starting on looks like it's an old logging road or something at one time. So it should be easy hiking this. Now this is one area in the park that we've never been to yet. So this five miles to the lake will be our first time seeing it. So it's always nice to have a new area in the park that we haven't been to. And this, I think this is about one of the last areas that we haven't explored in Pictured Rocks. Now we're coming up to a little stream. Now that looks refreshing. I know. Oh yeah. She has her shorts on today. I'm still wearing my pants. But I do have shorts in a pack. And it is 80 degrees out right now. Actually I think it's closer to... This is really nice right here. The yeah, stream is just at the bottom of the hill. It came down, so it's only about half a mile from the parking lot. And it looks like we have a, yeah, I don't know if there's a beaver pond or a small lake or what it is. We'll stop and check it out real quick. Yeah, this is very nice. It looks like this will be a beaver pond. And now we're coming up to a second stream. There's plenty of good water sources on this part of the trail. On a hike back, if a person's running low on water, be a good place to filter. Now we're coming up to a junction. If you go straight, that's Beaver Lake, 0.6 miles. I will take you ticket a right to Trapper's Lake, three miles on this trail. We're now about two miles into this hike or on this trail about a mile to Trapper's Lake and I can look to my left just peeking through the woods I can see Beaver Lake trail conditions are very good they're dry it hasn't been very much rain up here lately what did and you say the temperature was like 85? yeah I think the temperature right now is right around 84 85 so it's, it's warm but actually it's starting to feel a little bit cooler since we're getting closer to Lake Superior It looks like now we have made it to the junction. We'll check out this sign. First campground straight ahead. Loney, Loney Creek Lot Campground. That's 3.5 miles back to our right. Yep, you have an orchid there. It's a lady slipper, which is illegal for anyone to pick. They actually make medicine from those, I believe. We're now coming up to Trapper's Lake. And we'll take a walk down here and check it out. It's nice and serene. Well, this is a very beautiful, it's a smaller lake, but it's very nice. I believe there is a campground somewhere along this lake. And yeah, there's a, quite a few minnows right there. You see them right along that log.
We're now passing by the campground along Trapper's Lake. I see a few tents set up around there. And now we're already coming up to a junction. All right, well, let's head down by Lake Superior to Pine Bluff, is it? Yes, a half mile to Lake Superior, and I think maybe about another third mile to our campsite. Well, yeah, here we come. Cool. Lake Superior. And this is a nice little downhill part. Well, it's just beautiful. Look at the beach down there. It's a perfect day. At home where we live in the central part of the Upper Peninsula, they're predicting 94 degrees today. And right now, along the lake here, it's 78. Inland, we had 84, 85. Now we're going to continue on this way. I think about a third of a mile will be our campsite. And now off in the distance we're getting some nice cliff views. It's a little hazy, but we can see it. That's actually a long ways up here. Be a good 50 foot drop. I just love hiking along the shores of Lake Superior. And right now, that cool breeze off the lake feels real nice. Wow. It's a cool opening. Uh, look at that tree out in the lake or in the beach. And now we'll be heading up this little sand dune. And this should be our sign for the campsite. Pine Bluff Campground straight ahead. Yep, Pine Bluff Campground. <laughs> and this will be the group fire pit. It's a large area. I believe it's the only one at the campground. We have a bear box. And then there's some other campsites. We got campsite number five. It'll be somewhere around here. And this will be campsite number five. Very close to Lake Superior. I may have to get a little creative for hanging our hammocks up, but we'll figure out something. Shouldn't be too bad. What do you think? Nice spot? Yeah. As long as it's close to the lake. Works for me. Oh, well, we're getting our hammock set up. It's my Darien Dream hammock. I still love that color blue. And my wife's getting her hammock set up. Uh, at least her tarp or she have her hammock underneath here. Let's check and see. Yes. You're not helping matters. <laughs> and we're using those little fleas from Dutch yet. Yeah. Really Overall, they work good. Yeah, once you get them in the slot. I think I've been using those for about at least five years now. At one time, I used knots, Ouch. and that works all right, but it takes I hated longer. That. <laughs> right? That was ridiculous. Especially in a cold. At one time, I had a 10 foot Daring Dream hammock. Actually, I think that's the one my wife is using. And this is 11 foot with 11 foot tarp. So I'm pushing the limits for staying dry. If you get a hard rain and your hammock is just barely fitting inside, you always get a risk of getting wet. See, it does cover a little bit. So far, I've stayed dry for the six plus years on a hammock. But maybe someday I have to go with a 12 foot. Well, how do you like these under quilts? I don't. I think it's stupid. Yeah, uh, she wants one of those newer hammocks where you have the under quilts already built in. That way you don't have to worry about adjusting them or anything. For the, this type, you have to make sure you have adjusted just right, especially when it's cold. Otherwise, you will feel a cold. 
Well, since we have plenty of time before the sun sets, and for the most part we have our hammocks all set up, I think it's time to go take a walk down by the lake. That's a little steep going down here. Not too bad. Wow, now this is a nice beach. It's a 12 mile beach. Look how beautiful the lake is and it's calm today. A little bit of wind. And I know Beaver Campground is just down this way a little ways. Then off in the distance you can see some of the large cliffs that picture rocks. Well, it's time to take a walk in this lake, and it is cold, but it also feels nice because it's a very warm day. That looks like a sailboat out in the lake. I had to zoom in. Oh, what you looking at? That tree right there. Oh wow. It's still alive. I'm not sure how much longer it's gonna stay up on that bluff. No. That's pretty cool though. I will continue down along this beach for a little ways. It is a beautiful day. Well, now we're gonna go up by the campsite for a little while. Maybe we'll cook something to eat, relax. And then we'll come down here later to watch the sunset. All right, just starting to boil up some water for our dinners. And tonight, or this afternoon, I'll call it, I'm gonna have this chicken and mashed potato dinner. It's a little different than what I've had in the past. Last couple of years, it's like two large pieces of chicken. And this one, it's a lot of smaller chunks of chicken with potatoes. So I'll give that a try. And then we're gonna have a little lemonade with it. Now we're gonna take a walk down to the beach, filter some water. That's steep right here going down. It's always fun going back up. I'm just starting to get ready for another amazing pictured rocks sunset. Should be setting very soon. The Kathy went up to the campsite in the hammocks. There's quite a few bugs that are being pesty, even that bug spray. I mean, it helps keep them from biting, but they're still all over the place. So very soon, we're gonna get a beautiful sunset. Okay, here we go with our sunset. You can see some of the clouds are moving in but still very beautiful. I'm gonna start getting ready for bed, put our food in a bear box. We have bear boxes at each campsite. And we'll see you in the morning. Oh, good morning everyone. As you can see, she's already starting to break down her hammock. Oh, we got everything all broken down, packs on, and I even got my shorts on for this hike.
Yeah, we're gonna take a left on the North Country Trail to Beaver Creek, around Beaver Lake, then back to our vehicle. Wow, look at this view from the trail. I have it zoomed in, but you can see the cliffs really nice with the sun shining off them. That's beautiful. I will stop here for about a minute, take one last look at the beautiful Lake Superior. It won't be long from now, we'll be hiking all inland. We've now made up the Beaver Creek Campground. This is one of my favorite campgrounds. First they get a view of Lake Superior. And now we're going to be hiking inland for the rest of the way. All the way back to our vehicle. Now we're coming up to that little old bridge that crosses Beaver Creek. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. Have it over our backyard pond. The water is so clear. And this will be our next junction. Of course, if you want to go Chapel Beach, that's 5.3 miles to the right. And we'll be going along Beaver Lake, half mile to Beaver Lake. All right, we come up to Beaver Lake. This is another junction, two miles to Little Beaver Campground. Yeah, it's been a few years since we've done this. Right, the lake, I think it just ends there, the trail. Yeah, a little butterfly on trail. Two of them. And we've been following Beaver Lake for about almost a half mile now. We're starting to get some nice openings. It's a good sized lake. And a little ways down here, we'll find a spot where you can go down to the water. And this is a good look at Beaver Lake. Oh, look at the scum along the side. How <laughs> uh, Looks like you're going to clean up it anyway. Is the water cool? No, it's nice and cold. Now we're coming up on this be little Beaver Lake. Looks like there's a campsite on the other end of it. There, next junction, one mile to a little beaver campground. And then it'll be two miles up to our trailhead. And now this part of the trail, we get this nice boardwalk, crosses over a small stream. That could be a water source if we needed some water. I think we'll be okay for a little while. Getting low, but of course we've only got just under three miles left. Now we're coming up some, to some nice, cool looking rock formations. And look at that tree roots growing right there. An old birch tree. Wrap itself around that rock. Right. right into it. Yeah, this is really neat. And I think there's a little cave over here. It's always one of my favorite spots. I was wondering, I bet it's actually cooler inside because it's very warm out today. It's all sandstone. It's really cool. Now the stairs right there, that go up to the Little Beaver Lake trailhead. And we'll remain on this trail. This will actually be our first time on this trail ever. We'll be going through this little campground on Be Little Beaver Lake and hiking back up to our trailhead. We're going to stop the campground right here. 
fill up our water. That looks like a nice smaller campground. Now I'll be leaving the campground, going back on the trail, 1.5 to Loney Creek. It is a little cooler with this canopy around us. And there's a slight breeze, but there are definitely a few bugs out. They're not horrible, but they're just enough to be pesty. We're now on the southern end of the Beaver Lake, the large one. And just a little while ago, we are hiking all along that area. And our trailhead will be up on the overlook, somewhere over in that direction. Well, this will be Beaver Lake Campground. It looks like a nice area. It's only a couple hundred feet away from the lake shore. And right next to the campground, we have some lilacs. Now this is a nice little opening. A lot of raspberry bushes. Of course, it's going to be a little while yet before the raspberries come out. And I'm sure the bear will like it. Okay, this must be the Loney Creek campground. See the fire ring right there. Looks like a decent area. Got a lake right next to it. And this will be Loney Creek. Looks like a very good water source. Actually a nice little campground area. Yeah, I had no idea what this was. See a cement foundation. Looks like a well casing over there. I don't know if there was a campground here one time or what this was. Or if there's a homestead. And just next to that campground area is this stream that comes up to a, some kind of pond and there's a beaver. You can see it from here. Yeah, you just went under that log. Point four. We're back at our final junction. That means we just finished this loop, 1.4 miles to the trailhead. So this is kind of like a lollipop loop. Oh, it's gonna feel very good to get back to our vehicle with some air conditioning. Right now, we just checked the temperature on my wife's pack, it's 85 degrees. Even in the woods or like this with the canopy, at least there's a little breeze, so it does help. And there she goes. She likes to pass me up. Wow, look at that tree. Must have blew over part way at one time and then decided to grow like that. That's really neat. Well now it looks like we're coming up to our trailhead. And that was a good steep little climb we just went up. And of course it probably feels a lot harder because it's so hot out today. And we are back at the trailhead. There's another nice about a 12 mile loop we did. It's always nice so we can camp on along Lake Superior with nice campsites. Now we're gonna go to a vehicle, drive about maybe 20 miles or so to Munising, stop and get a burger somewhere, or maybe a pasty. I'll have to wait and see. Well, thanks for watching. Up Trail 71.